Hello, I'm back. I'm Dupi Dupi Singer. My people at home, the local name is Dupi Singer. And this is my Jacob's Way TV. In the last episode, this is the third. The last episode, I explained why the TV has to bear that name. If you have not watched it, please go back and watch. And I, I assure you, you will be blessed. Go back again and watch the first episode. This is the third. Um, and follow as we go. I'm telling you about my work we call for 21 years. He asked me to share it with you so that you can also uh, discover yourself and uh, pick up your work with God wherever you have kept it. Uh, if you have been hearing his voice and his directions and you don't understand, uh, my story will help you to understand and go back to the path that the Lord had ordained for you. Before the Lord called me, I was a mess. I tell you, I was a mess. Um, I finished the university very early. When we compare with my contemporaries, in 1975, I was in the University of Ife to read English. I was just 15, probably even 14 and a half. I was a very young girl. I mean, I had served the Lord in the secondary school. And, you know, he told me later that I was the one that just gave me speed. One day I will explain how the speed came. I entered the university. I left the university at 19. Thank God I did not misbehave in the university. I was not an irresponsible child, even though I was much younger than most of my peers. But I kept telling myself, many, the next person to me, most of my peers, must have been six years older than myself, so I kept telling myself, I have time, I have time. And I thought by the time I'll be 40, I will be made. And I was so sure that by the time I'll be 40, I'll be so made and I would be contented and be happy with my life. And um, suddenly I became 40. I wanted the big part. And I went on my knees and asked God. I was brought up from a Christian home, even though I had walked away. I, was, I, was, I will also tell you about how I walked away from God. Now the Lord brought me back online. So I knelt down and told the Lord I wanted a big, a beautiful 40th birthday celebration. And my husband gave me one. He was just he didn't realize it that it was the outstretched arm of the Lord. But I had a blast. I can never forget my 40th birthday. I danced from 4 p.m. till 9 p.m. It was Pope, the late Pope that came to, to, to play. He had to tell me, Mr. Singer, at, at 9 p.m., go, let other people come and dance. I had danced non-stop for five hours. It wasn't the best bad day that anybody could have in the world, but honestly, I was contented and I was satisfied. I was happy. I'm still grateful to my husband for that beautiful celebration. And everybody now left after the celebration. Everybody goes back home and life returns to normal. I had gone through my gifts and you know I was happy and seeing the monetary gifts and all that. Something was empty in me. Something was empty. My life was empty. I had not reached that, that pinnacle that I had created in my mind for myself when I was in the university at age 15, 16. When I thought that by the time I will be 40, I will be made. I will be ready to relax. I will be at the pinnacle of my profession. I was empty. I mean, my life was in ruins. The gifts were good. If somebody gives you a beautiful gift of very good, solid cutlery, I mean, some of them I used for years, but that does not make anything out of your life. So 
something was wrong or something was missing. So I decided to go back to court. I'm saying this to you now because I don't know where you are. I don't know what it is that is making you feel empty. I tell you something, I crawled back to God. I crawled. I literally crawled back to God. Because I look at my life, I wasn't where I was supposed to be. My mates were better than me. So I thought. I knew that I needed a savior. It was as if somebody had dug a very dry a well and had dropped me there. Or it was as if somebody had dropped me in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific is the, is the largest ocean. And I just discovered that I could not swim. And I started crying to the Savior. I would wake up in the middle of the night. I would do like this. I knew that holding anything else would be like idolatry. And I would say to God, I'm holding on to you. I'm holding on to you. My life is empty. There is nothing to my life. I started reading the Bible. I started reading the book of Isaiah. I can never forget. Everything struck me like a thunderbolt. Like a thunderbolt. Because I saw all the beautiful promises of God in the book of Isaiah. And they were not coming to pass in my life. I went back again calling to God and saying to the Lord, I am the one that is unfaithful. You are always faithful. You mean your words when you speak them. Then I asked the Lord, who am I? And that's one of the things I want you to find out. Because we all walk on the streets of the earth without knowing who we are. He's asking God, who am I, self? Who am I? That's what the Nigerian person will say. Who are you, self? So I asked the Lord, who am I, self? And the Lord answered me with a scripture. And then he gave me Jeremiah 15, verse 16. I really did not understand it, but I can never forget it. He said, Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word, thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of mine heart. For I am called by thy name, O Lord of hosts. That was what struck me. For I am called by thy name, O Lord of hosts. That thing struck me. I am called by your name. Is the Lord saying something to me? Is he saying that he is expecting me to do something? Is he saying, I'm called by your name, I'm called by your name? People who are working for God are the ones that I suppose that thought were called by God's name. You know, I'm called by your name. So I started praying harder and asking God for it. There was nothing else to do. There was no good. My life was empty. Do you, have you ever experienced your life feeling like ruins, ruins. I looked around, I found all the things that I considered to be dear to me. They were nothing, they were worthless. They did not add up to anything. I needed God. I cried to Him. I looked for Him. I sought for Him in the Bible. I turned to Him. I wept like a baby. Of course, I had walked away from the Lord. I was rebellious. I knew sin, but I, I indulged. I wanted a bit of life. And then I realized that I had brought nothing back. And then I wanted to move on, and I mean, except, except if I'm ready to die. God has to do something. 40 is not I might have another 40 years to live. So I, I thought I needed God. So I cried unto him, and he heard me. He answered me. I'm going off. With this note, where are you? And what ruins has your life become? And how, what emptiness are you feeling? I tell you, everybody is called by the name of the Lord. Everybody. <coughs> I do not want to say a dupey dupey singer is saying she's the one that is called, only one that is called by the name of the Lord. No. All of us came from him. And until you realize that you need to come back, come back to God. It's not only ministry. Ministry, as we know as church, in all your vocation, in everything, we are the gain of a, of a new year. Maybe that is why the Lord sent me to you. I want you to trace your path. 
he steps back to God. I want you to crawl back to him. He saved me. I was happy. I'm still happy. I used to be a very unhappy girl. But then I'm a very happy girl. And again, before I stop, I want to tell you that the best miracles in the Bible, think about it, happened in the wilderness. So when somebody is telling you, you need to be in the wilderness to learn, you say, God, ha, and my life is finished. No. The best miracles of the Bible happened in the wilderness. And as you seek the face of the Lord and ask God who you are, I pray that He will answer you and you find the path back to Him. I'm still dupy, dupy singer. God bless you. I look out for you next time. Bye bye.